Hey second graders, it's Mrs. Kickert and today in math we are going to do a little bit more work with measurement. Today we're going to be talking about three different types of measurement. We're going to be talking about inches, yards, and feet. Okay, and we are going to learn how we can use those to make some estimates in measurement. So I'm going to start by showing you guys a um, quick song that you guys, if you completed the other measurement, one of the other measurement activities this week, that you guys have already heard this song. But I'm going to give you a chance to hear that song again today um, just to get your brain moving a little bit this morning. So. Let's get my screen shared so that you guys can see um, what is happening. All right, here we go. We are going to listen to the song about inches, feet, and yards. fun way to get us started guys all right now i am going to show you this other video um for you guys to learn just a little bit about the difference between those and then we're going to come back together and talk about it for a minute so here's your next video hello boys and girls this is teacher mike and today i'd like to talk to you about estimating measurement now this is kind of tricky but it can also be kind of fun if you can use references from your own life to make estimates or good guesses about sizes, estimating can become a lot more easy and even fun. You can point out different objects in the world and guess the sizes based on your reference estimates. So let's go over what some good estimates for some different sizes are. Let's first talk about one inch. One inch is the size of a bottle cap, like you pop off the top of a soda. An inch is really, really small. Can you think of some other things in the world around you that are about one inch? Let's talk about one foot. A foot is about the size of a hammer. Now, a foot is 12 inches long. So it would be like putting 12 bottle caps next to each other. But that's not really a good estimate. Can you think of other objects that are about the length of one foot? A hammer is a good suggestion. But what else can you think of? The last measurement that I'd like to go over is one yard. A yard is three feet long. Now, a good estimate for a yard is about the width of a door, not the height, because you need adults to get in the height of a door. So that's going to be more than six feet long. The width of a door, meaning how wide it is or how long it is, is about three feet or one yard long. So when you want to estimate one yard, Think about the width of a door. Now All right, friends, now that you have those different measurements, I'm going to come back to you guys so I can talk to you guys for just a minute. All 
Okay, so here I am again. All right, so he talked to you guys about three different kinds of measurement, inches, feet, and yards. Let's start with inches. So just to review, he was talking about how, the in how an inch is about the size of a bottle cap. You can also think of it about a paper clip. So what are some more things that could be about the size of an inch? You're right, your thumb right here could be about the size of an inch. Awesome job, okay. His next measurement was a foot, which is 12 inches long. So what could you use to think about the size of a foot? Those are some really great ideas. You could use a folder, a notebook, the height of a notebook right here. That's about the size of a foot. Okay, and his last measurement that he talked about was yards. A yard is equal to three feet. So what could we use to think about a yard? You're right. He mentioned the width of a door, and that is perfect. That is about the measurement of a yard. You could think about if you have stairs in your house, those are about a yard wide also. So feet. Inches, feet, and yards is what you're going to be working on in your seesaw activity. Now, you guys have worked really hard and listened really closely. So let's take a brain break and let's practice some of our fluency. We haven't done this in a while. All right, here we get ready to add and subtract and get your body moving. So if you need to stand up, go ahead and do that now. All right, here we go. 16 minus 6 is? 10. Awesome. And I probably should have mentioned you guys need to stand up for this because you're going to be doing some exercises here in a minute. All right. One more time. 16 minus 6. 10. Good. 10 plus 9 equals? 19. Awesome. 12 plus 7 equals? 19. 4 minus 0 equals? 4. 19 minus 3 equals? 16. You guys are on a roll. Balance on one foot. Eighteen plus two equals. Oops. Eighteen plus two equals twenty. Awesome. Nine minus four equals five. Thirteen plus five equals eighteen. Ten minus seven equals three. Time for some sit ups. All right, back up on your feet. Nine plus three equals 12. 12 plus six equals 18. Eight minus one equals seven. Hop on one foot. Fourteen minus seven equals seven. Fifteen plus five equals twenty. You guys are doing great. Sixteen minus one equals fifteen. Four plus six equals ten. Six plus two equals eight. Time for some squats. Awesome. 11 minus 9 equals 2. 13 minus 9 equals 4. 8 plus 6 equals 14. That one was really tricky. 7 plus 1 equals 8. Lunges. All right, back at it. 15 minus 4 equals 11. 10 plus 2 equals 12. 17 minus 6 equals 11. 14 plus 3 equals 17. You guys are doing great. Awesome job. All right, I'm so happy that you guys joined me for math today, and I hope that you enjoyed your time, and we will see you next time. Bye.